Oh, that was hectic. I've lost my wallet. I got home from the grocery store and I'm getting ready to do this and I'm feeling you know, my wallet's not in my pocket because I, I have a new, um, I saw the change from the grocery store and I thought, well, I need to put that in my wallet and no wallet. So I was thinking about uh, calling Publix to see if it's in the Publix parking lot or something like that. I don't know what to do. So that made it kind of a frantic moment, which I am still living in. And uh, But luckily I had prepared this ahead of time. I am uh, wanting to do a... Um, a sunset uh, that we saw last night when we were coming back from Gatlinburg and the, um, you know, just checking the storm damage. And we've got a storm damage video out. It's very interesting that the the, the funnel, um, I want to call it a funnel, but actually it's an arrow. Um, the screenshot we made of an arrow that says this is where the winds is going to be. The point of that arrow is right on us. And right by the, um, well, it's near us, you know, within a half a mile or so. And the dam at the Douglas Lake Dam and all of that. And sure enough, if you look at the point of that arrow going directly east from there is the worst damage. Uh, really amazing how it looked. And uh, But on the way home, um, I'm calling this painting uh, Late Sunset. And... Um, I found everybody that I needed paint-wise, except for my little tube of black. I'm looking for my tube of black, but I've got my English navy, I've got my dark gray, I've got some sunset colors, and uh, so and uh, dark blue gray. Navy, dark blue gray, and where is Mr. Black? And there he is, and Mr. Black. So, how did this go last night? Well, I'm looking. I'm looking at this picture right here. Oops, don't want the ring to be seen there, but that's that's the picture I'm looking at. It's kind of got a and I actually, when it was um, further along, there was yes, less yellow and more dark red. A very heavy, sharp, dark red along the contrast of that mountain. And uh, I believe we have more pictures of it somewhere, but we can't find them. Because I know we were shining the video out the door. I mean, out the, you can see the top of the, well, you can't, but I mean, the, I can see the top of the bug. And, um... It was uh, even darker and more uh, more uh, beautiful. So I laid this down first so it would have a chance to dry. And uh, then we're going to build it from there. Um, the uh, uh, best way to describe it is we, we go for the, um, the blues and the, the lighter blues first towards the top and then we'll go for darker blues at the bottom of the sky almost to um, well it joins the yellow and then there's a little bit of gray above it and um, I'm almost afraid to start <laughs> I've got this feeling like oh boy you've got this all lined up now and, and, and what is what is next Jimmy. so yes and um for, for those of you that join me often, Jimmy's uh, uh, working tonight. He's doing a 12-hour shift. Five to five. And, uh, you know, we can thank him. We can thank him for being, the you know, a group of guys that's willing to work all night long so that the roads are clear in the morning and we don't have to deal with it in the morning. So, okay, so... Ah, uh, enough of that, enough stalling. <sighs> Deep uh, breath. Say hi to Sherry and Ruby. Ah, uh, Sherry, Ruby? 
Sure. Hello. And Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Oh, Ruby. Uh, well, that's not a really positive song, is it? <laughs> I just happened to hear that the other day on some old classic TV show. And, uh, okay. So we are going for the night sky blue here. We're using a little bit of, um, probably this camellia. This is sky blue, a little bit of sky blue. And the um, English Navy. Sky blue and English Navy. Now the I'm going to do the sky blue on one half of the brush and the English navy on the other half so that the, it kind of does a blending for us as we go. And, uh, Ruby said she loves the fall color so far. Repeat after me so I don't have to talk too loud. Oh, okay. Repeat what I said. Oh, Ruby says she likes the fall color. Well. Actually, it's not a fall color, although you're right, those are fall colors. You must be already looking forward to the fall. You've had enough of the heat. And, um, but this is actually going to be um, the sky. This is the sunset sky. And we're just going to start um, uh, working, working our way towards the sunset here. And um, we need a little bit of white. Uh, on this here palette, probably not that much. We want to we want to brighten this blue up a little bit at the top. There we go, like that. Okay. Now we're going to touch down into the um, English Navy. Ah, there he is. And here's my guest speaker tonight. Hello, Donnie and Joey. How y'all doing? All's well. I heard you might stop by. That was very kind of you, since Joy's not uh, at the top of her game with her voice and feelings. I think she's feeling under the weather. Uh, yeah, a little bit of tooth I'm not issue. Feeling hundred percent great, but uh, well, I appreciate a little bit of your voice. Going on, I guess today. But, well, how, and don't feel bad when you have to sign to off. <laughs> yeah, and don't feel bad if you have to sign off. And yeah. uh, because so it looks I'm, like you've already got a painting started there. Yes, yes. What we're doing is um, a sunset that I saw last night, and we're going to okay. be putting. Black Mountains right down here and we're going to put the peaks up and um, so right now we're bringing down the night sky uh, towards towards the bottom and so that we can um, uh, I think your picture might be frozen no oh, oh. oh no we're good we're good on this one oh. Um, so, frozen on my end, if another. Frozen on your end, okay. All right, I see my finger moving in front of the screen. Everything seems to be okay here, so far. Could just be my phone, I guess. All right, oh, you're on a phone, okay. Yeah, Do you want feel any better as she was? Or? Well, we, we bought, I went crazy and bought some, um, found some clove oil at GNC. And, um. Uh, very good price. We appreciate that. For, thank you, GNC. And uh, it's um, it's supposed to help with sore teeth. Yeah. And so we're we're waiting for that to take more effect. I think. Because the mine will get well, a little bit of sensitivity going to them. And... Well, I wanted to buy that toothache stuff, but it was chemicals. You know, it wasn't natural. Right. I'm not sure if that'd be. A good thing for her to have anyhow so 
we're, we're going to sensitize toothpaste. Yeah, we do have that. We have sensitize, but you know, you gotta you gotta use your toothpaste, and you gotta mm -hmm. you gotta brush your teeth, and and sometimes living in the hourly bee life and the busy life, we just we don't do what we should. Yeah, well, they get no matter where you at. It's just sometimes you just think, hey, I'm too tired. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll brush them in the morning. <laughs> I'll brush them in the morning, and then in the morning we say, ah, I'm late for work. You know? mm -hmm. But honestly, um, I talked to a dentist, and he spoke to me honestly, and he said, if you will do one good brushing a day that kills all the bacteria and removes the plaque, you don't have to brush like crazy. He said, you the you're, the problem is the bacteria. Right. And, and, and and more than any than the food, he said. You know, but of course, if you leave a piece of chicken between your teeth for three days, you know, you wouldn't leave it on the counter for three days. So why would you leave it in your mouth for three days? You know, stuck between your teeth. <laughs> so, That's true. I and about that, yeah. I it yeah, Joy's really good about I that. Yep, she. <laughs> On the days that we do corn on the cob and <laughs> things like that. Chicken, we... I floss out the meat. I, ha I have to use floss to get that meat out because it does get stuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, that or chewing gum or mouthwash or something or another. To yeah, we use, we use mouthwash. It's handy if you can keep a few of them around, you know. I use good old Listerine, too. I'm telling you. It, it's strong and it hurts, but I like it. And I brush with it, too. <laughs> my, de my dentist said that I had an inherited gum issue from my mother's side of the family. Oh. Yeah, it's... You do the best you can for them. You only got one set. Yeah. I'm not sure why God didn't allow a human being to... Uh, Regenerate their teeth when they lose one, but yet he'll give the he gave the uh, certain animals the ability to grow new appendages when they get cut off or attacked. You know, so yeah. Why didn't we get that? What's up with that, God? What's up with that? Yes, God wanted us to suffer a little bit, but still loves us. But I guess He wanted us to maybe to suffer. He just said, well, "Take care of what you got." Yep. Yeah. Prove you're responsible. That's true. Okay. So is the company then going back home, or they still in town? Oh yeah, um, Mama Two went back yesterday. Did she? Yep. Yeah. They, had a, they had a great time horseback riding and did a lot of good stuff together. Really enjoyed the weekend. Did you get to go rafting? Uh, no, it turned out they, they went to go rafting, and it was just crazy expensive. Really? You know, for, for, you know, to float on a, you don't, you don't need to, you could float in the pool for 60 bucks a day, you know. Why go to a river? You know, so. <laughs> I don't know how much it would cost. They said, no, they said, they said it was $60. They said $60. No, I think it was for the two of them. Not well, 60 for the two of them, yeah. Not a piece. Okay. Not a piece. Oh, yes. Right. I, w I didn't mean a piece. Okay. And, uh... Well, I didn't know how much it cost, but was it like an all-day float trip, or...? Well, probably four hours. They they oh. cart you upstream, and then they pick let you float back down to where they sell the... You know, where you started. Right. And, and uh, next time they can bring their own inner tubes and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's no license to do it, so you could probably bring your own inner tube. But I don't know. That's kind of a, kind of a good idea, though. I think that's a good idea. Elizabeth in our church years ago, and it was mostly a guy's outing. And uh, me and my dad went, and uh, about 40 or 50 other people from the church. And had a good time. It wasn't a real, really rough rapid by no means, but it was fun. Yeah, I've been canoeing. And, uh, yeah, I'll turn one of those over too. <laughs> They're a lot of fun when you hit a tree stump. <laughs> yeah, or you go I'm around a curve. Up and, towards Marion. Yeah, and you hit something. Yeah. Yeah. No, no it fun to hit something. Turn a canoe, canoe over. Yeah. And everybody does it. Luckily, I believed I would turn it over and I brought plastic bags and everything and put everything in plastic bags. So it all worked out for me. 
I didn't, I believed I would turn over, you know, <laughs> and I prepared and I was glad I did. Very glad I did. So. <sighs> yeah, my phone must have went crazy. I can't even get the picture to come up. I can hear you just fine, but I don't have no. Oh, my goodness. Phone, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I think I understand that, though, because sometimes you cannot talk and have an open phone line and also live stream. Uh. Uh, it depends. I mean, we've done this once before. Were you on two different phones that time? Because I think yeah, that time. Yeah, used his wife's phone. Ah. That may be what it was. I'm gonna get her phone right now. Then. You'll have to watch on one. <laughs> right. You'll have to watch on one and talk and look on the other. So I'm taking the uh, the colors of the sunset and bringing them into the clouds a little, so we can have a like a one more push at the top here. We'll get a little bit more cloud right in here, and we'll see if we can't. So did you all get any rain today down there? Oh, uh, no. Things dried up. They're still cleaning up, though. It's a big cleanup here. Trees everywhere. One RV. One of the trailers got hit with a branch. And it wasn't even a dead one, either. There was some serious, serious things. Yeah, Becky said that the uh, West Knoxville got hit real bad. She thought maybe a tornado might have hit it or something. In West Knoxville? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I would say so, because we... We almost could have called it a twister would hit here and it was a very because it was so narrow to too Johnson City. like well, you know ESU campus they the sound of the tornado alarms but uh, nothing ever happened now I've got a picture I can see everything through the text and right. everybody's chat looks like we got rushing wild Whitland rushing wind mountain shares in here with us let's see who else is there with, with us That's it right there. Probably some people back in the back hiding behind the behind the text screen, but uh, at least we got a few in here hanging out with us. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. Feeling good tonight. J Joey said that Jimmy's working from five until five. He what said a... he get to watch the replay. Yeah, what a. Can you Diane imagine that? Join us, little Diane Phoenix. That's a lot of hours. Yes. They must drink a lot of coffee. Either that or they're used to being up all night. Yeah, we're going to shift like that. You sort of get used to it, I think. But it sort of takes a toll on you, too. Yeah. I guess you can get used to it, but wow. I know I've worked all kinds of crazy shifts. Where I work at right now, they've got me coming in an hour earlier, but at least I get off an hour earlier, still got more daylight and stuff, but not too bad. Having some vehicle problems hi, right hi, now with one of their older vehicles. Hi, Diane. I dread trying to get a new vehicle or even a used vehicle, but the Lord will provide. What's, uh, which one's giving up on you, the car or the CRV? The Honda Pilot. It's a 2004 Honda Pilot. Oh, okay. It's got 185,000 miles on it. Uh huh. And I'm, I'm not a mechanically inclined person by no means, so. Right. I don't what to do. To, but I said God will provide. It just hopefully it'll run for at least a few more weeks. My brother always said, "Yeah, it's just a lie. Just ignore it and keep on going." <laughs> you know, sometimes that's true. 
I'm, 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 it just I'm it's getting hotter. And as far as the engine temperature, it seems like it's staying where it should be staying, but it just the whole engine frame just feels like it's warmer than it should be. So, oh, that, that could just be a thermostat transmission type problem because when you've got a flashing D light, that easily indicates it's either a transmission sensor or your whole transmission is getting ready to go bye bye. Oh. Well, we pray for your, on that thing. I mean, we pray for your vehicle. Thank you. Yeah. Working uh, good. Working good. Hopefully, at least you know, gets me back and forth to work every. Yeah. A little bit longer. I think there are prayers that you can pray for vehicle and transportation that God works with, at least so that you're not you pay the right person the right amount of money too. Oh, yeah. You know, we're not... You ain't gotta watch out for them dealerships, because... Yeah, I don't go to dealerships. They'll gouge you, and, you know, yeah, like they... my last the CRB we have, it, it came from a guy that my wife had got all of her previous cars from, and now he's been in the business for so long, he's training car salespeople how to actually sell cars, and so I don't know if he's still actually able to sell cars, or whether he's just training, I think he's just training car sellers but he's, he's a good guy yeah he's but yeah, a... I've, been, I've been gouged by, I know when I got my had my Mazda I got gouged by the dealerships and stuff so they're not your friend <laughs> <laughs> they're out to make money and, uh, yeah. it's... we're your local friend yeah yep. I used to believe that too but they do try to retreat, repeat customers better than the walk-ins because they've right. been there before and they want them to come back. And once you get used to somebody, it's it works really good. Right. Yeah. Now, Diane, I don't think there's actually any tornadoes going through. There was definitely some strong storms. Diane and Joy's got a video. Uh, as at the dam, wasn't it, Diane? We yeah, the, the Douglas Dam. That's Douglas Dam. Then, and then uh, all, then we yeah, have one on Dandridge. Dandridge. Is the Dandridge yeah, one out yet? Yard. Yeah, we got one Dandridge on Douglas Dam. And uh, and I did some more filming today when I was out when I was out on the road. Yeah, and Greenville I think got hit pretty hard too, but they always get hit hard. Oh really? Yeah. They have a yeah, reputation, huh? Camp something or another. I can't remember what it's called. Lower Plains of Greenville. Yes, Lower Plains of Greenville area. Oh. I guess like towards the Lowlands area of uh, right there at 81. I guess that's where it's at. Yeah, they're just about 20, 15 minutes off 81, 15 minutes south of 81. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Lisa. Is this the Lisa we're going to see soon? Yeah. All right. It did seem a little bit like a twister, though, because it, it was it was narrow. It kind of went through. It seemed like it kind of went through a, a, a path along the road of like 139. Yeah. Yeah, straight down 139. Sad, sad thing. Yesterday there was a lady. I can't remember how old she was, but she got outside of her vehicle. I think this was yesterday morning. I can't remember exit six, mile marker 63 or something or another. And I think it's right around the Kingsport area, I believe it was. And she got hit by a semi and got killed. Oh. Uh, they don't know why she was out of her vehicle or what she was doing, but you know, evidently she truck driver didn't see her and he pulled over. So hopefully, you know, he won't get in charge. He wasn't. Oh. Hopefully, you know, just, just one of those what he'll have to, Yeah, but what he'll have to live with. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, he'll never get get over that, you know. Yeah, well, he, 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 driving he, the truck again, you know. Yeah, that'll Something be like that that, that'll be sad, and they'll have to figure out. You know, they'll look at her car and see if it had a broke down or something, or. Right. Wow. Have you all been up the outlaw yet? No. No. No, we have not. Get up there to see the sights and stuff. I haven't been up there in a while, but 
growing up, we used to camp up at the Elkmont campground, and uh, we would always go up to where the cabins are at. You're covering up your sunset now. What are you doing? I thought you wanted the red in there. That's looking good, Donnie. Donnie, you're, Thank you. you're covering up your red. Is it like a burnt umber type color, or is it the actual red? You went too high with the mountains. You covered up your red. I thought you wanted that. I wanted that. Just add more red in. That was fine. Hmm. We're just doing a distant, uh, like a line of trees, you know, at the top of a mountain that you can uh -huh. see the, the sunset through. Just trying to get those right and, and, um. You're not, it's not going to work now. You, you're, you're it's not going to work now. I'm going to have to. Now. So, the, um, I well, wanted, I, I was looking at the picture. Minute. Well, I was it's looking at the so picture. Good. And the He's picture made, was. Made that paintbrush. <laughs> yeah. I um. Say hello to Annette. Hello, Annette. Oh, oh you're tonight. here just in We're time to see me screw up. You showed up okay. just in time. Things going well in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin! Ooh, Wisconsin! Mm, Wisconsin cheese. It's pretty eerie up there. It's sort of like the Wisconsin Dale area. We were up there several years ago. It's sort of like a pigeon forge or what it reminded me of anyway. We went on uh, a boat ride out in one of the lakes areas. We showed the rock formations and different things. And I came through there on Amtrak one time too. Boy, I haven't ridden one of those in a long time. I think I was a kid the last time I was on an Amtrak. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah they're talking about getting us come through uh, this area and going all the way up to maybe Knoxville around. They've been working on it for several years to try to get restarted again. Think it's politics? Uh, Don't talk politics. What? Don't talk politics. Well, we can't talk politics. I just wondered if it was politics. Yeah, it's, you know... Probably is. There's a lot of tourism dollars, and it, you know, it's it's always yeah, permits. The good and the bad, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we gotta get we gotta get permits. We gotta get people moving. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Like you know, the casino area they brought to the area. I'm still in the process of getting it started. Is Tennessee allowing that now? Well, this is on Virginia side. Oh, okay. It's where the old where the old mall used to be at. We're praying, we're praying to keep Tennessee conservative. In Jesus' name. <laughs> yeah, you just never know. Well, Joy says we can't talk free. about this stuff. Keep Tennessee free. Just say that. Keep Tennessee free. She says. That's Tennessee all we're supposed free. to. Tennessee free. That's all we're supposed to say. Yes. Okay, so we'll just keep it at that. Keep it Tennessee trash free too. People don't need litter in their parks and stuff. Did you see where somebody went on one of the trails and painted some of the rock formation? Ah. Uh, I can't remember where it was at exactly, but I think it was in the Smokies. Um, they actually took some paint and painted it on one of the rocks. And they said that takes forever to be able to clean it back up. It's graffiti, you know. Like I'm carving on the the old homesteads and old barns and structures and leaving their names and carvings into the woods. It's there forever, you know. Wow. It's well, we just thank the Lord that He's going to protect our state, Tennessee free. We just leave it at that. So, now we're working on Tennessee sunset. And that looks much better. 
It does look good. Did you ever take a photo of anything and then use the photo? I'm using one tonight, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh, I must have passed 30 minutes because I had it on 30 minutes. Let me show it to you. And Ruby said loving the color. We're using, this is a background idea. We get the ring. There you go. Right. That's kind of what we're looking at here. We took that picture last night. We took that picture last night. Is that a church? It is, isn't it? Or not. A church? Oh, no, that was a Titanic, actually. Oh, was it? Okay. Look like a church steeple. <laughs> yeah. Well. Have y'all been to Titanic? Uh, not this one, no. Uh, we actually, um, when Titanic first started to tour the U.S., we got to see it at the Mose, Indus Mose Industry oh. in um, Tampa, Florida. That came... And uh, we bought special tickets so that we were third class steerage. And uh, so we got to have uh, a third class steerage dinner with the uh, authentic food served on the Titanic for third class steerage. It was like cabbage and potatoes and stuff like that. It's quite interesting. Very, Don't go too high with that now. Yeah, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I got my clouds. I got my sky. I'm, I'm pretty happy all around with that. And then you found out at the end if you lived or died. Oh, yes. And then when you, with the ticket you were sold was a name of a passenger. And so at the end of the uh, meal, as you filed out, you looked up your passenger name to see if you lived or died. <laughs> To see if you were rescued or not. Well, did you make it out? <laughs> uh, one of us did, I think. I'm, you did. I did, yeah. I had. <laughs> so, Joy's still back there. At the bottom of the sea. Uh, too bad, it huh? It wasn't. I wasn't. I was some other name. It wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went to one of Pigeon Forges. Yeah, we died. We didn't make it through. Oh, yeah. It was neat. It was a lot of reading, but it was it was worth a visit. If people have never been before, it's definitely worth going to. Yeah. Whew. You know, wow. I was thinking about the other day, you know, I can remember when there used to be just like a two-lane road through Pigeon Forge, and the KFC used to be there. You had Porpoise Island. You had the Tommy Bartlett Water Circus. <laughs> You had Magic World. Uh, see, my KFC was the only restaurant there. I'm sure there are others. But, but being, you know, uh, a kid, and always that's where we stopped and ate was at the KFC. Oh, that must have been. To me, that the uh, yeah. Tommy Bartlett Water Circus thing is still, you know, standing. Yeah, yeah, it's behind though. It's, it's behind the, wood wood fire they could, grill. They, they could have done like a, a water skiing show still today. They need some work, of course, but I guess the parking because we were up there a couple of years ago, and the parking looks like it's yeah. being used by different other businesses and stuff. Anybody wants to go look at that? It's right behind a wood fire grill. You go up that street right there behind wood fire grill if you want to see it. Yeah. And then you follow that road on out through there, it comes out that big old ball. I think it's called the orb. You get inside that thing and you roll down a mountainside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that game yet. I guess it's still. Becky said they had the water bog or whatever that was. Yeah. At the top, you got on the mat and water flowed you down to the bottom. We go full water. The Ogles Water Park, you know, I think it was probably. How long ago was that? Around. How long ago was that? What's that? How long ago was this Ogle Park? Uh, when did the Ogles, Ogles has been going probably 20 years or better now, I guess. It's uh, right there where the Paula Dean log rolling show is. I think it's what's called. Okay, uh, it's called Lumberjack Feud now. Yeah, Lumberjack, yes. Yeah, it's, it's right in that area there was where the Ogles used to be it, if I'm correct. Hmm. Because it was on that side of the road. And then where uh, Magic World 
theme park was where that doc, uh, professor. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's got that little mini golf course there with an airplane. That's where Magic Road used to be. Oh, that's a, yeah, adventure, something adventure. Professor Hacker's, I think it's the name of it, mini golf or something to that effect. One with the yellow airplane is um, a different name. It's, um, oh, is it? Yeah, it's adventure something, treasure, um, something treasure, hidden treasure, golf, something now. And uh, so I'm really happy with this. I don't, I, I don't know what to do with this down here. I am, um, what I should put in the foreground wouldn't make sense to put the Titanic there. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to put in the foreground down here. This is just, you know, beautiful. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking, I'm looking at it, looking at it, waiting to see something appear that, you know, maybe I can put a cabin here. Uh, one of those Bob Ross cabins, you know, with one of the roofs and all that. Maybe I should try that. And uh, I get out mm -hmm. my blade. Sure. It sort of looks like, like an old west type uh, background in the way. Uh-huh, but... yeah, like a... T T Tuscany, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw it last night, and we weren't in Arizona. So I'm trying to add a little bit of. Because not all the Smoky Mountains are high and tall. Well, in your picture, though, the uh, the mount, you know, the mountains weren't too too tall. Yeah, it was well, mostly sky. And you did it differently on your painting. I did not put as much sky as I did on the on the photograph. Exactly. I did not put a lead pencil on where my sunset was going to be and and all of that. But I like the colors. Just and make the front a little more depth of um, a little more mountains, maybe at the bottom. Then you could have some red flowers or something. Yeah, we like could a few do of the flowers or something. We've got deer in our front yard again tonight. Oh. In your front yard? Right out by the yeah. street? Wow. Yeah, they come to the front yard. They jump over the fence in the backyard. And they just look at you. They just look at you. They're so used to people. I had some old peaches there. Uh, a week or two ago, though. I can't remember the name of them, but they were very hard peaches. So I just chucked them to the backyard and let the deer eat them. Yeah, I never buy a peach unless it smells like a peach. <laughs> I learned that one. These were, key, I think they were called Keystone peaches, I believe it was, but they were hard. I like my peaches to be good and soft and smell like a peach. <laughs> and smell like a peach. Didn't. Yeah, that's that's what I like too. It's got to smell. Say hi to Maritza. And it's got to smell like a peach. Say hi to Maritza. <laughs> Maritza. Hello, Joy, and I say hi. She's a little quiet tonight. That's why Spaceman joined us, because she's been got a, got a toothache and not feeling good in her tummy. I think she's a new one to me. Maritza's Yarn and Crafts. Hello, Maritza. Yep, she's new to me. I don't know if I've ran across that name before yet. Hmm. I'm going to streak that. Camping therapy ought to check ever. She probably already knows her, I guess. Doreen. And I think she's taking a break from doing the YouTube thing for a while. Oh, Doreen? Yeah, I think so. Rest? I haven't seen her in a while. So. Oh, well, rest and relaxation is a good thing. Well, she's a very special person. She, When I was in the hospital two years ago, she sent me a care package. It really brightened my day up, you know, after being in there for 19 days. And <laughs> that was pretty special ever to do that. Yeah, nice. When kindness is never forgotten. No. And then unfortunately, that dreaded thing is going back around again because sister told me tonight that the guy that's a preacher in the area, he's got it for the third time. So yeah. 
There's a machine. Yeah, we try to tell them. We try to tell them and we sell the machine that protects you. Especially if you're a pastor going around to talk to a lot of people, you got to have this machine because it kills right. the COVID. Or, excuse me, the COV. The C, the C word. And, uh... So. I'm, I'm using the wrong brush here, I can tell. Hmm. Try to get a little bit of a a golden reddish hue on the ground here. To... So when do the car shows start down there, Donnie? Oh, like the next rod run or something? Well, I just... Yeah, that's usually in the fall, isn't it? Yeah. That's not for a while yet. Okay. I guess they've had the Jeep shows probably already. No, that's coming up. As a matter of fact, I just heard somebody say something about Jeep Invasion was coming up the next weekend or something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just heard about that. Yeah, we just heard about that. I'm trying to think of who said it, but... I guess that'll be at the same place it was last year. <coughs> I have not, um... I have not followed up on it. Yeah. But y'all need to take a drive up to... Elkmont area. They got the cabins and they got some trails up through there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we went to we went to Elk something and saw the waterfalls there. Big waterfalls. About fifty feet high. That was Elk something, wasn't it? Mm. Over by Elizabethton, out in that direction. Oh, Elk Park Falls maybe? Oh Elk Park Falls, yeah, that's yeah, we got there. That's about the only elk I can think of we've seen other than at Cades Cove. I mean, at yeah. um, Cherokee. We saw some elk at Cherokee. Other than that, we have not done much with that. Okay. That's a deer out in the road now? No, I'm looking at it, so I'll go back down for it. You know, that's my rose bush. Keep on moving. <laughs> yeah, we can't keep flowers around here because the deer. Don't oh. look at them, Junior. Don't look at them. They eat flowers? Oh, they eat flowers like crazy. Don't look at me. Roses and... Keep on going. Huh. We always try to buy flowers and stuff that say that they're deer resistance, but a lot of times the deer don't know that they're deer resistant. They go ahead and eat it anyway. <laughs> We even had a deer bush. <laughs> ain't that? Yeah, we had a deer bush. But her aunt gave her, and it ate it. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I hope it got a tummy ache then. <laughs> <laughs> got something, I think. <laughs> but Becky's always afraid they'll jump over the fence and get one of their hoofs caught into the uh, fence, and you'll hear it. You'll hear it hollering or whatever, because. That would be bad, you know. I had a um, customer of mine uh, who had a um, metal fence around his, you know, um, the kind with the posts, you know, and uh, a deer uh, stuck its head through to um, feed on the grass on the other side and couldn't get its head back through. But they were out of town. It gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse. So they were out of town. So by the time they got back, the poor thing had passed away and rotted. Oh and goodness. They they really had a time with getting rid of that smell. Phew. Yeah. So because they were living in the areas and a lot of space between the neighbors, so the neighbors didn't smell it. And uh mm. man. That was not a happy thing to find when you got home. Not say not. Yeah, we got a, got a skunk around here too, Becky says. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can do without that. Joy and I had a good laugh yesterday because somebody had a video of a skunk crossing the street. And it was like a mother and about seven or eight kits. And what was it? It's um, Mama Skunk and her little stinkies. Yeah, Mama Skunk and her little stinkers. <laughs> well, we can't today help them out. They would come up to you right around the campfire. They would walk right underneath your seat. The skunk? Yeah, you just stayed real still. They just walked right by you. 
Well, they don't really smell unless they get scared, I suppose. Yep. But, oh my goodness. <laughs> right? Shoo. I can remember a couple years ago, they must have done some kind of uh, peel drop or something. It seemed like skunks had disappeared for a couple of years, and then they're starting to finally come back. I think it was like raccoon peels or something. Or another. They had dropped out to keep the raccoons under control. And <laughs> Seems like it might have affected the skunks as well. Huh. I did not know they did that. I know they did that for rabies. Yeah. They dropped bait with rabies stuff in it to keep them from getting rabies, but I didn't know they got rid of them that way. I think it just sort of control the population, but this has been getting us years ago, so. Hmm. That's like the. Around the mountain area, you ask, are there mountain lions in the area? In the area? No, the, the game warden can say, no, there's no mountain lions around the area. But yet, you know, you got video tape of these field cameras that shows simply it's what it is, a mountain lion. Right. Came into the area. Oh, it's a chihuahuas. Hmm. That two chihuahuas on the TV, and that's what the dog we're looking for. Oh, really? That's the kind you want next? Well, that's what we had, so we had to put her down. Ah, heartbreaking. Rushing Wind Mountain lives in the Pacific, Pacific Northwest. Oh. So she has probably grizzly bears, black bears, mountain lions. Mountain lions. Whew. I've seen people get chased on their motorcycle and on their bicycle. One guy got knocked off his bicycle by a mountain lion. Really? Yeah. He had the, it grabbed him by his head, tried to drag him away, and it, and uh, he unbuckled his helmet. And uh, that's how he got loose from it. This is working out pretty good. I'm doing a little creek right here. I'm really surprised how good this is looking. I'm really surprised. I like my little creek here. Now, before the wife and I got married, this was probably, I don't know, 14 years ago, 15 years ago, we was over in North Carolina just driving around and over towards, I guess, Spruce Pine, sort of in that vicinity. And these, uh, I guess people call them coy dogs or wild dogs. Mm -hmm. Where there's like a pack of, I don't know, it's been like seven or eight of them. And that one that just sort of lurched towards us. The closer it got to it, the closer it got to, to almost like trying to jump on the car. And Becky had her had her hand out the window. And uh, I said, get your, wind, your hand up. Get, get right the window up. And that dog, I mean, they looked like they could eat us alive with no problem. <coughs> yeah, they're hungry enough. They will. There is a so, thing called koi wolf that is part wolf and part coyote. But it's it's more it's not down here in this area it's more in the northern states well they were very aggressive whatever they were because it well, probably it was, was it was scary for like that it's bigger than a coyote it's a, because it's a mix of a coyote and a wolf this was probably about the size of a german shepherd we did see a coyote last night on the um, bypass Oh, really? Yeah, when we came back from... Yeah, it was when at we sunset. It was at sunset, and uh, we did see that. So what's going on in Russian Wind Mountains channels lately in, in Maritza's? I've been checking these two channels out. Rushing Wind Mountain is um, post-nature. Rushing uh, wind, Joyce says, rushing wind posts nature. Oh, uh, have to give him a visit. Hmm. Well, you really changed the appearance of that. Yeah. So this little, it down. My little creek worked out really good. I just, um, I like that a lot. Got a good reflection over here. And um, so now I'm working on, um, I might just put a, a, a good-sized tree over here somewhere. Have you thought about putting a canoe in the water? Yeah. Well, I don't have any water right there. It's 
kind of like a cut. I'm thinking, do I put a little little sh shimmering white down here, a little bit of silver or something for a creek? Or do I leave it dark? I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. But if I did put some water on here, then I could put plants around the water to break it up. Mm -hmm. And uh, so maybe I will do that. I'll let that dry. I think that's a good idea. Or you leave it like a canyon and I don't know how good you are doing the horses and stuff, but I'm sure it'd look pretty good. Be like a cowboy out on his horse taking a sunset ride. A sunset ride. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got to get rid of this red here and try to build up a some place to put a tree. Right in here. Ever notice how trees grow in some of the funniest places? Won't be much dirt around at all, but the, the, somehow the seed will take root and it'll make for existence. I know there's some old railroad bridges that's been gone for years. I think they were actually used during the Civil War. And the trees have, somehow the tree seedlings got on top of them. And trees are growing up out of them, have been for years. Yeah, we we enjoy they're seeing an trees, old truck. But, you know, they're, they're like pines or cedars or something or another. Yeah, yeah. We have pictures of old trucks that have trees growing up through the bed. An old uh -huh. Volkswagen with a, a tree growing out of the back. We've got all that stuff. Ruby said nicely done. Thank you, Ruby. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm thinking uh, Spaceman's got a good idea here. We need to put in a, a, a little bit of water. And uh, I guess I could, I could even put a little falls right there. Uh, another fall right there. How about another fall right there? Tiny little, tiny little. Yeah, look at that. Let's put one more right there. Little tiny falls right there. Have y'all been looking for the Space Link satellites anymore? Uh, every once in a while I'll see something streak in the sky, but it's been cloudy so much. Yeah. I have not seen it like I used to. Well, that's a good idea. I really like that. I really like that. That That's what that needed. That helps um, bring some life to that. And we're going to bring down a waterfall right there. And a little bubble at the bottom. And then we'll bring down a waterfall right there. And some bubbles at the bottom. And then, that, then the, a little bit of a pool. Just a little reflection. Maybe we should get some... I'll get some... Um, some kind of a red or a reflection on this water. Right. Y'all haven't even been over to Bush Beans yet, have you? Oh, yeah, we did. We did Bush Beans with uh, Cousin Eddie. With who? Cousin Eddie. Eddie Stedman. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was did okay. You? I liked the, I liked the uh, history. Did you eat but, there? But the food was not what I expected. Uh, it's not the greatest. It's some, when we first went there, it was real good, but... Oh, Really? But, not what it used to be, huh? No. I know in Danvers, there's an old diner. Not a diner, but an old pharmacy there. That's got like a lunch counter. I've been wanting to try it out sometime or another. <laughs> I think it's called Bible Pharmacy or something or another. No, I haven't heard about that. It's been around for, for years. I'll have to look it up and try to send it to you. Sure. We'd love to, and we could even schedule going with you if you really want to. I hate to, you know, steal That'd your cool. thunder. I wouldn't want to That'd steal your thunder. You know, if you want to go do it, then. Yeah, Danvers yeah. is a neat, neat little, little town. Not a very big place, but it's it's, it's neat and historic. Yes, there's a nice bed and breakfast there. We've done a sunset. We did a sunset live stream there <laughs> last year. And, uh. 
they have a beautiful um, bed and breakfast there. A lot of history. Did you know Dandridge was the maiden name of George Washington's wife? Our president, our first president. No, I didn't and, know that. And when they were building the dam and they realized it was going to flood that town, mm -hmm. because of her, and it was her only namesake in the United States, they, that was why they went to the effort to save it. Huh. As an honor to her namesake. Rhonda just sent me a message. She said, sorry, I haven't been on the chat lately much. She had her medical procedure and um and then her mother has some doctor's appointments that she goes with her mother um and so she's had to be going to bed earlier than usual hmm. Is this pray for her Rhonda. Rhonda. pray for your health Rhonda. we thank you Thanks, lord that Rhonda. you're you're strong because you need to be but you're also strong because your mother needs you to be and thank you for honoring her and being a blessing. Her mother's legs are swollen, so she needs that. Thank you. And we speak to the lymph, lymph nodes. Plugged. Thank you. We speak to those lymph nodes and the those veins. The and the swelling to go in Jesus' name. We remove those liquids from her. Thank you, Lord, for good work in kidneys and for her, have her mother to have her legs be fully functional. And back to normal. And Jimmy Spencer is um, working 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. tonight. He texted me earlier and said that he'll watch the replay. Give a good shout out to Mr. Jimmy. Hello, Mr. Jimmy. Yeah. We always appreciate the replays oh yes and the people who watch on tv hmm. i don't think that paint is like any other paint you've done for us <laughs> it sure is i'm i am uh ex always experimenting and i don't seem to learn anything from the week before <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. i start over Every week, it's like, oh, please, let me do something the same. Uh, the only thing I've got good is my sky. I, I'll tell you what. If anybody says, paint me a sky, I'm there. But if they <laughs> want anything else, it's like, oh, I don't know. I, it could happen. It might not happen. I don't know. Mm. And I'm just, I'm not happy with these trees right here. And I'm trying to put a little bit of the sunset reflection maybe in a, a couple, a little stand of trees. And um, this is my stand of trees brush. Learning how to use the brush and get the brush to do what I think and actually have it put it on the page is, is such a cool thing when it happens. But quite often it doesn't. Right. And, Sometimes uh, you, you get to a point where you got to stop your painting and... Maybe just let it sit, and then think, yeah, well, you know, can add this. That would look good. So. I, I've, the, that's what the pros do. I mean, there's the one guy that does just oil. He he has a, um, an, I forget if he called it a shade or a shroud that he he drops over the painting, and he only uses oil, and so he, he has two weeks to work on it. And he right. goes back to it, and he does, you know, he does stuff, and... He keeps working on it for weeks. And so I understand, you know, that concept. But I can't, of course, with acrylics. That's not how acrylics work. Right. Uh, acrylics are now or never. And uh, so I'm thinking about... Um, see, I could put in a tree here. And um, I need some... Ah... Uh, I need some, a little bit of khaki. Not tacky, khaki. <laughs> a little bit of gold. A little bit of khaki. And we mix that together. 
See, if I put gold and khaki on one side of the brush, then I flip the brush over and I put black on the other side of the brush. Then I have one side that's black and one side that's gold. And uh, then I take the black side and turn it away from the sun, which I think, I don't even know, where do you think the sun is? Is it over here where it's really red or is it over here where it's yellow? I think the sun's more over here where it's yellow. So let's put the gold on that side, and we're just going to run that tree. Don't put a tree in front of your red. You wanted the red. Yeah, I'm not putting a tree in front of the red. So how about right here? We'll put the tree right there. And... Uh, Yeah, I'm lucky. I think the sun set would be right there. The yellow set. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's put one there. You and don't have to put a bunch there. of trees if you don't want one. Yep, yeah, just one. Let's get that down. I like the um, the ground. It's it's looking like a a shaded night type type of ground. Um, okay. And uh, the well, that's uh, a different type of perspective there. Yeah, it, it, defi it. it definitely adds. You know, go up here, up here, like that. Um, We'll give it some green. Some well, thank green. you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Oh, thank you for remembering to do that. Share and Rushing Wind Mountain and Jimmy Spencer when he gets to watch the replay and those that may be hiding back behind the chat room <laughs> oh yeah plenty on tv watch they can they can thumbs up they can give us a thumbs up that's about all so don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're watching from your tv you hit the you hit the down button it'll bring up a red line that's just that's above that. the red line is a you click up one to the thing and it'll say give you all kinds of choices and you scroll down to the thumb and you tap on it and after the live is over be sure to come by and just leave a comment or mm -hmm. just say hi <laughs> yeah okay so, so is it going to rain tomorrow i think I haven't checked the weather, but... No, I haven't. Uh, and, of course, I can't right now, being on the phone. I don't know if we've got more rain heading this way, it seems like. I'll tell you what, the painting looks better on the phone than it does to my face. <laughs> oh, really? It actually does, yeah, I like it. That looks really good. We've got, um, see right here, I've got to have a... This, that's just reminding me, I've got to have a shadow here. Gotta it have almost a looks a little bit like um, mountains in the desert because the the reddish color at the bottom of the mountains reminds me of the desert. Huh. You could almost make that tree into a cactus. It almost, couldn't it? Like a like a yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be cool. Okay, so it's not a smoky sun sunset. It's an Arizona sunset. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. A little bit too much green trees back here, though. I'd have to get rid of those. Where? These green, this green here and here. All these little plants right here. No, they have greenery. Will that work? Does that work for you? They have greenery in the desert. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know of any desert. But hey, if you guys like it, I'll leave it that way. I like my water. Man, I like them. Cher says the painting is gorgeous. Whoa. Um, That's different great. areas of Arizona, some of them have more um, 
greenery than others. Oh yeah, northern Arizona is beautiful. Northern Arizona is a paradise in a lot of ways. Ruby said it's beautiful. Thank you. I got to go to the old Tucson uh, movie studio years and years ago. That's where they filmed a lot of the Western movies at. The sheriff said the colors are so vivid. Lisa said, looks beautiful, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm just wanting to get the shadows just right here. That's the shadow off of that tree and the shadow off of that tree. I'm gonna have to darken that a little bit. Thanks for joining us, Ruby. Ruby's gotta go. Good night, good night. Yeah, that looks good, darling. Thank you. I enjoy it as much as everybody else. I'm just as surprised. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to do tonight. Annette has to go to bed tonight, too. Yeah, Thanks. other people probably have Thanks to get going. Nine. I don't mind. Nine. We sure do appreciate you being here, enjoying the time with us, watching the creation. I appreciate you being here for that. Watch and, a, and a shout out, sp thank you to Spaceman. Who's sparing, I'm Spaceman, yeah. Sparing my mouth because I've had a toothache for two days. Here, watch the cold stuff and the hot stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're working on sensitivity. And, uh. I want to get it checked on. Yeah. Yeah, that's the hard part is we, we don't have a dentist and uh, so we don't have a way of doing that. Although I do like the way that's kind of broken off like a storm just hit. <laughs> like the storm that just hit us. Annette said, great painting, Donnie. Thank you, Annette. We all get to say that we've been there. We saw him when he first got started. <laughs> before he thought too much of himself. <laughs> and I promise I won't think too much of myself as long as I'm married to my wife. She'll keep me in check. And She'll keep you in line, won't she, Donnie? Yeah, she does. She keeps me in line. Sheriff keeps... said good night to all those who have to have to um, go to bed. Good night, good night to those that have to go to bed. Even if you didn't want to. <laughs> but you're being responsible. And that's good. You're being responsible. Well, I'm going to hop off here too and you all have a good blessed night. Sure. Hope your teeth look better, Joy. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's uh, it's just after nine o'clock. That's most everybody's bedtime. Thank you so much for your patience and your voice to help us tonight. That shadow looks nice. The way you did the shadow. No problem. Yeah. I think that's we've got. I'm not sure if I even want to do a tree branches or or anything. I'm, no, don't. Should I just leave it the way it is, like they're dead trees, or yeah. it's winter time, or yeah. something? Okay. Well, y'all take care. We'll talk to you later. Good night, Thank Spaceman. You. And Thank good night, Spaceman wife. Bless you. Good. Thank you for being with Staying us. Going to bed. <laughs> good night, good night. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Well, that was sweet to have company. We should have some other people call in, too. Have some other people talk about, even somebody that knows about painting, that does painting. Wouldn't that be fun to have someone with a little painting, you know, and uh, sure uh, said real good job, Donnie. Thank you.
He's probably getting close to the end of his I thing. think that's about it, isn't it? I think that's about it. That's got some I was thinking I wanted to do something back be back here, like, you know, some kind of a small little shrub line. Just some this is kind of a dead spot here without without some trees or something. Leave it a deserty one though. Don't make it like because it does look like the desert. The northern desert mm -hmm. or something. Okay, so we'll just put a little bit of a little bit of that right there. That would be a nice giveaway thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm afraid if I touch it anymore, it won't be as good. So let's go ahead and sign this off. <sighs> With a little bit of gold and a little bit of beige, a little bit of green. How about right here? We'll do the W to make sure that we... You could have never told me I was going to do something like this. <laughs> Nobody could have showed me this painting and said, in five years, you're going to paint a painting like this. There's no way I would have believed him. All right. Thank you all for being with me tonight. Thank you all for sharing this moment of, of creation and time together. I bless you and I thank you for being here tonight. I can see, I can see, oh, a gnat is on my tree. Look at that. <sighs> Cher said it's God-given talent. God-given talent. Thank you, God, for my given talent. I thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lord. All right, I better leave it alone. So that's it. Remember, I love you. But Jesus loves you more, and he lives in your heart every day. Thank you. Miss you till I see you again. It's Tuesday. Don't forget Thursday at 8 o'clock for uh, Team Jesus, and Saturday at 6, and, of course, the occasional pop-up, or Saturday at 7, and the occasional pop-up between now and then. Love you much. Sweet Good night, Cher. Sweet dreams. Here we go. Gotta say bye. <laughs>